Well, hello and good evening, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Fairy Floss. My name is Faye, and this is my YouTube channel, all about cross stitch, a bit of knitting, crafting, and whatever else tickles my fancy at the time. So, thank you for coming back. As you can see, I'm back in my old spot, and um, I'm back on my laptop. So it is back from the um, laptop fixes. However, um, I've still not got a USB drive. So my plan was to buy a little microphone to plug in so I got better sound quality. But until I get my USB v drive fixed, then I'm just stuck with whatever comes out on here. But I prefer using this to the Mac because it's just got all the software on that I know and I just feel much more comfortable to be honest. So um, yeah, I'm back on my PC. So apologies if the sound isn't as great as it has been in previous weeks, but um, I have been recording audiobooks on here for my children at school and that sounds okay. So hopefully this isn't too bad either. Um, so what have I been up to? I'm a little bit late and the reason is, um, Sunday when I was going to upload we built a pile of bookshelves and then after that I was a bit too hot and bothered to make a video and then yesterday my baby goddaughter was born so I was just oogling over a load of pictures um, on whatsapp for ages and decided I should probably wait till today to do my video so yeah I've got a new goddaughter she has no name yet and um, I've just got a few little pictures of her and um, obviously in times like this, it must be quite stressful for her mum that's just had her in hospital um, when you can't have people with you and stuff. So um, hopefully by today, <coughs> oh, excuse me, the end of today or tomorrow, we might find out a name for her and I'll get some more pictures, hopefully. Okay, back. So um, something that was tickling my throat, I, I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. Um, but so let me show you this is what I've been making for my new little goddaughter and that's where we're up to um, I'm now I've just finished the third little row of these self knitting flowers so I've got two rows so far this is the third row uh, this is the um, yarn I've got left on this ball so I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough for a whole blanket or whether I'll start the second ball of yarn. Um, it's not going to be like a ginormous wrap the baby up blanket but more of a pop it on the knees when they're out in the buggy kind of thing just a little bit of extra warmth and it's so nice because it's proper spring colours as well so um, I am going to be cracking on with this this week so if there's not a lot of cross stitch it's because this has to get done. Okay, so maybe next week all you will see is this on the video because really it's a priority. Um, she's a little dinky newborn now and I wanted to be able to fit into it at least at some point during a little dinky life. So yeah, this is um, for my new goddaughter with no name. So um, I'll just pop that to the side. So yeah, that's all the knitting I've done this week. Um, the scarf has not come out at all because I feel like whatever time I spend on the scarf I should be spending on that really because it's more of a priority. So let's get into the stitching. Um, I did have a week off, it was um, half term um, and I got I got so much stuff done. I've read a load of books, I've built bookcases, I well I've helped my boyfriend build bookcases, I'm not taking all the credit for that. Um, I've done, I've been on walks, I've been out and about a bit, not too far because we're on lockdown still. Um, I've planned some of my dissertation, still need to get the full plan written up and ready. And yeah, it's been, it was a really productive but relaxing week at the same time, which was very nice. Um, so I started, this is my first thing I'm going to show you, which is actually my finish for the week. And um, I started this on Valentine's Day. This is my Valentine's Day start and a week later I finished. So this is a little pattern called, oh, what's it called? I think it's, let's see, this lighting is not great to show you that. I think everything else shows up all right but that's just really poor. Um, I'm gonna go bring the light over. There. Okay that's a little bit better now. Um, I've got close-ups of it on my Instagram as well and I think it's called Rose of Hearts 
and it's from Just Cross Stitch magazine, which I get on my Readly app. So uh, it was so much fun today because once you do a strip of it, it repeats itself. So you start to learn the pattern and the flow and you don't actually have to look at the chart all the time. Once you've figured out the um, figuration of each line, you can just carry on with it. So there's like little hearts and little flowers and it was such a nice stitch. So I didn't use the cold for colour. Um, it, the cold for one was a little bit pinker than that, um, but I didn't have it. So I used this really nice sort of springy one instead, which seemed to have lots of really nice colours. So what I'm going to do is turn it into a little pillow and try and order some lavender online somewhere and turn it into a little lavender pillow. Um, is the plan and keep it out during the springtime as well because it's quite springy um, I may stitch it again in a different colourway because I really really like it so um, yeah this is my finish of the month which I'm very pleased with um, and also I have a couple of whips um, so this first whip is actually more or less a finish um, because I decided I was going to tackle drive through even if it killed me because I started this last summer and even though it is quite a small piece even though I love doing it it just kept getting put back down to the bottom of the pile because I've always had like Christmassy things to do or presents to do and I've just never got round to getting it back out so pleased to say I've actually now finished all of the cross stitch and the back stitch so all it is waiting for is a big fun beading session which i should hopefully do this weekend and then i can get a nice little frame for it and it can go up um which is great because it just took so blooming long to do and for no real reason why um so yeah i adore it um really pleased to have got as far as i have done with that um and then what can I show you? My next must pop back out of the way as well. My next whip is um I've done actually I've done a fair bit on this. Um it doesn't look like a lot, but there was a lot of counting involved and she is making a lot of progress. I'm not gonna take her out of the hoop because she's quite happy in there at the moment. Um, this is my little Spanish lady. So as you can see, I've actually filled her face in. <laughs> so that sounds a bit mean, doesn't it? Um, I've completed her face and her little arms, which stretch up there. And now I'm working on the half stitches. Um, so this is just this one colour of beige. So and there's a fair bit of counting as well. So I've done a, a bit. I've put it down for a bit. Um, I'm going to aim to try and finish that quarter of it this week and maybe get started on this little side up here as well um because I do love her I've got my frame waiting for her and yeah I do really want to finish her because I, she's just so nice um and once I've finished her then I can get a few more new styles out um here's the plan so that's my little flamenco lady and which brings me to um Here's me saying no more new starts until I finish something. However, um, exciting news is that my boyfriend's parents, my in-laws, have um, got the keys for their new house today. So I decided to start stitching their housewarming present or new house. I don't, is it a housewarming present? I don't really know. Um, so I don't know if you remember ages ago, I ordered this and it was going to be my boyfriend's mum's Christmas slash birthday present and of course I didn't get organised so that never happened so I've decided as it's got houses on it and a cat on it and like that's their two favourite things at the moment then I thought it'd be a really nice thing to do as um, a gift for their new home so I've made a start about an hour ago on this so it's just a tiny little start so this is um it came as a kit, a really, really nice kit um, with silk. So I'm stitching it in silks and it came with this little needle minder. And um, this is like this really nice lemon yellow linen as well. 
and I've just made a little start on it in the blue colour. Um, so all the threads, um, there's only like seven colours, and it's really nice. You get little bobbins with them as well, so you can bobbinate them as well. Um, as well. It's, it's just really nicely thought through. So I've just started this tonight. I'm going to try and push through a little bit because again, um, this one I do want to get finished at some point because I guess now our restrictions have been, we've been given this roadmap out in the UK allegedly and technically by the summer we should be able to go and see them in their new house. Um, all things being well, if everybody behaves themselves should we say um but who knows i mean things change every day in the uk at the moment um so um if i get started on this now hopefully i might be nearly there by the summer to actually give them something that's finished so yeah that is my starts and my finishes and my whips um all the stitching i've done this week which isn't bad for me actually i've had a few dippy weeks at the moment but that was really good now um on Saturday I was meant to do a felting um, workshop, uh, an owl felting workshop, but Saturday lunchtime um, I went for my Covid jab. So Saturday afternoon my arm was feeling a little bit heavy and I decided um, I'd pull out the class and do it from the video that she'd send out to me. I emailed her, she's lovely, she's absolutely fine about it, she said don't worry about it, um, rest up and then um, she'll send me the video. So when she sends me the video I've got my kit waiting to um, get started on so maybe next week, maybe the week after we'll have a little owl to show you as well which would be really nice but yeah I think I made the right decision because my arm is really sore at the moment um, and I think to hold something to be stout, even though it's the it's not my dominant arm to be holding on to something for ages and concentrating you can end up jarring it and things so I just thought no um, I won't do that at the moment because I am due we are due back in work like properly on the 8th of March um yay so that'd be interesting Boris thanks um so yeah that's um my felting scenario this week um oh I've got a little bit of well no I've got one little, I've got the magazines, um, they are in the other room, so I'm not going to go and drag them out. Um, but yeah, all the new magazines are out, which is quite nice. I will be doing the kits, so you will see those at some point. Um, I got my mystery fabric from Megan Coffee, and it's so nice. Um, let me take it out and show you. It's a 32 count even weave and it is this super gorgeous pinky colour which is really nice and you know what it'd be really nice um, to stitch that rose and hearts on again in a different colourway. I might even do that and do it as a present for somebody Um, because that's gorgeous that fabric it's really nice look it's Got all different shades of like pink and grey on it. Um, so yeah, I might make another couple of um, lavender bags out of that. Um, I'm tempted to try and freestyle my own pattern actually. After looking at the one that was designed in just cross stitch, um, I might have a little play about and see if I can just get myself into a groove of designing my own, um, which would be quite nice and it'd be unique then as well. Um, so leave it with me, let me see if I do manage to do that. And then my other bit of haul is pretty exciting. So I decided, I'm just going to get the picture up on my phone and show you. Um, I decided I was actually going to start a Hade um, before I handed in my dissertation. Because at first I was like, no, I'm going to complete my dissertation and my master's and then I'll get started on my hate. But then I thought, no, nah, because I've seen something <clears throat> that I really, really like, really, really wanted to stitch. So instead, I decided I'd, I'd get it all kitted up. So I've ordered the, um, sorry, multitasking is not my um, speciality. Where's the screenshot? Where are you? Let me just go and make Instagram, that was easier. Um, so yeah, I've ordered the 
frame and the um, bo bobbin box so I can actually bobbinate and I've also had an amazing delivery today which I will show you in a minute when I've honestly I know can't multitask so yeah this is Randall Spangler's reading time um, that is what I am going to be stitching and so the bobbin box and the bobbins and the frame are on the way but this morning the postman brought me this beautiful shiny parcel and inside my beautiful shiny parcel I have received that amazing sack of all the colours that I need and I got this from Cross and Crafts which is a Facebook group and they have a little website as well and if you send them the list of the colours that you need then they kit it all up for you and because um, I was going to do it myself and then they were like oh we'll just do it so yeah go on um, and it's really good because they actually send you a little chat I just took that under my arm um, a little checklist so they check it off first and then this afternoon I went through all the colours as well and I checked them all off and they were all there so that's absolutely super um, so I don't have to contact them and like ask for anything again so yeah that's Cross and Crafts on Facebook um, so yeah this is all my threads ready well I have to say ready to go they need bobbin um, my 25 count Easy Guys Lou Garner now the size of this is 31 by 31 the size of the actual piece I think is 25 by 25 so I've got a bit of extra width for the margin um, and for framing so it'll be really fun to stitch on this because I've never used gridded before um, and I've probably never stitched one over one on quite a small count either so I'm looking forward to it um, so hopefully by the weekend I'm gonna maybe just try and get the colours um, bobbinated for the squares that I'm going to begin on and then eventually get it all bobbinated and just make a start to be honest um, I'm really excited about starting it um, it's just going to be nice to have a really big project on the go um, let me just put these away I'm trying to be tidy there we go that's my definition of tidy so yeah that is um pretty much everything I'm sharing um stitchy kindness um I'm going to give a shout out to a floss tuber that I've been watching and actually binge watching over my half term who is a lady called Angela who is also known as stitching Brit and she does a lot of hades as well and a lot of other nice she does a lot of dimensions which is really nice too um so I've been watching all her videos and um they're really cool you get to see her progress every week how well she does and she's been doing the amy stewart story keep um what's it called the story keep of, it's paris um i think it is it once upon a time in paris i can't remember but if you check out her channel i'll put a little um link below to her name and um yeah she does some lovely stuff also carry on checking out my friend stitch gem she's doing some amazing things um which reminds me this week i am going to get going on funky menagerie again because i'm getting super behind on that um so yeah she's got stitchy gem has got the um animal kingdom on a shelf on a go i want to call it um it's another hate amy stewart <laughs> i can't remember the names of all these things um so yeah i've not watched loads of floss tube this week um because i've been busy stitching binge watching one tree hill and um because why not and also watching a lot of below deck married at first sight australia i'm well into a lot of these programs at the moment and we have just started watching the tudors on um what's it on it's on net no it's not on netflix it's on um for on demand i think so um that is really good so far i do like jonathan reese mayers so um yeah that's what i've been watching what do you watch when you stitch let me know if any good box sets good things to watch um i pretty much watch whatever's on the telly <laughs> to be honest um so yeah that is me sharing what i've got to share so this week's plans i need to knit that blanket 
it's gonna hurt i'm gonna have to just keep going and going and going um because i really want it finished um but i'm also gonna make a start this week on my lovely little cat um which is oh it's from owl forest embroidery i didn't mention that it's a kit from owl forest embroidery i got it from russia um it cost a lot of money in customs um just to be aware if you do order things from them um the kit itself wasn't too expensive but then it nearly doubled as well with the customs that came with it um even though i've ordered stuff from america that's come with absolutely no customs as well so it just totally depends on where you're buying from um now i do know that sometimes they they stop sending it to places outside of russia so i think if you if you want something from that just check on the website see what they're selling um and i think that is all i've got to share with you um so in the meantime keep smiling keep stitching have a fabulous week whatever you're up to and i shall see you i'm going to say next sunday now i've not been very committed to sundays at the moment but let's try and see you next sunday it'll be nice have a great one see you later bye